Hi, I'm Tom Arbuthnot, Principal Solutions Architect at Modality Systems. One of the questions we're getting a lot at the moment is working with both Skype for Business and Teams and, and how you deploy them to your users. Microsoft talk about five modes uh, and you can see from this slide it's five modes but actually I've got six on the screen here. So I'm just going to quick, briefly go through the options with you. So number one is islands or evaluation mode and that you shouldn't ever be deploying to your users really, that's just for testing. And in that mode you have all your Skype for Business ability, so instant messaging, calling, conferencing enabled, and you have all those abilities enabled in Teams. So you have chat, meetings, and calling in Teams as well. That's really confusing for a user because they've got two options. I can chat in Skype or I can chat in Teams. I can have a meeting in Skype or I can have a meeting in Teams. So really islands I don't consider a mode for users. It's just for IT to evaluate. Then you've got your options about choosing a single experience for users. So you can go all in on Skype for Business. We're not going to use Teams for any functionality, not for calling, not for chat, not for collaboration. We're just going to say Skype for Business. So that's your Skype for Business only mode, which is equivalent to having Teams off completely. Or you go completely the other way. You can have Teams only. So you don't use or you turn off Skype for Business. Your calling, your chat and your collaboration are all in Microsoft Teams. So those are your per user basis, I'm all on one platform, I'm all on the other. But you've also got three options for mixing the two for users. The first one is just to run Teams in what's called collaboration mode or kind of in teamwork mode. So in that mode, Teams is used for chat-centric, file-centric collaboration. That's your workspace for a project. But as soon as you do an audio video meeting or a conference call or a user call, that's still in Skype for Business. So that's Teams collaboration mode. You can take that a step further and you can have Teams collaboration mode with meetings. So in that scenario, Teams is my central place for working on projects, files and chat, but also I have my meetings in Teams. So maybe I like the new experience of Teams meetings, the plug -less meeting join, the new codex, the mobile experience. So Skype for Business is still my telephony, but my meetings are held in Teams. And I'd have an Outlook scheduling button in Teams and everything would be Teams for my meetings. And the third option is a relatively new one talked about Ignite. And that's called Meetings First. And that scenario is interesting. That's specifically for Skype for Business server customers who aren't ready to go to Teams for their um, calling yet, but want to mix and match Teams meetings in with Skype for Business. So specifically, they like the Teams meeting experience, but for business or commercial or whatever reasons, they're still on Skype for Business for calling. They can mix and match Teams meetings with Skype for Business for telephony and calling and enabling one-to-one -one chat. So those are your options. It's really important you think about your business requirements first. So what are you going to choose? And bear in mind, all of those options are per user options. So this is not a global big bang. You can pick and choose by user profile, by department, by business case. If you've got any questions about any of these or any other questions you want us to answer, um, just reply to this video and be sure to subscribe for the latest updates from Modality. Thanks.